So let's check this out, uh, how to create this kind of gamer setup by running the gaming layer on one computer and running the streaming avatar layer on a second computer. So I'm just going to flip my displays here, play my other screen. And um, so I've got this one instance of OBS. I'm going to say this is computer one. What you can do here is just do your window capture or display capture. And I'm just going to capture my YouTube. Uh, this can be just your screen or whatever, but I've just got this YouTube video running for now. So this is your this is your game. You're streaming your game off of one computer. And what you want to do is just go tools, NDI output settings, create a main output, output name, let's call this game NDI out so that we can pick it up easily. I'm not going to do preview output for confusion's sake. And then in computer two, OBS number two, what we're going to want to do is just grab a NDI source from our sources list, NDI source, okay. And the source name will give you your computer. Got game, game NDI out, wicked. Demonstrating this on one computer, but this will be exactly the same. It will pick that up from computer to computer across the network. Believe me, I've tested it with a phone. You can test this with a phone app as well. So computer one is sending out the game. Computer two is now picking it up. I'm just gonna hide this computer one label here. Just so we've got that clean thing. But we're now on computer two. We've got our NDI source and we can now layer over our spout capture as well. And then from here, that is where you would go. Start streaming, start recording, etc. So yeah, simple as that. If you just select that NDI out and then in, you can have this stream set up. So yeah, I hope that's useful to you. I hope from that you can see that you can so easily link two computers together. If you've got two computers, you can make this stuff run super quick, not lose any frames. And this NDI very low latency form of sending the data from computer to computer is just wicked. Um, super quick, super simple to set up. Next up, we're going to look at spicing up the stream a little bit with some camera changes. So I'll show you a really quick way you can just make the owl camera change location so you get different shots as part of your stream. So we'll go through that in the next one. Thanks for following me along. I hope you're getting excited by this. I hope you've realized how easy it is to stream out as an avatar and be one step closer to becoming one with the internet. Whoa, wow, awesome stuff. Now we've looked at outputs, really nice. Let's look at getting Spout from OBS or any other program that uses Spout into Unreal. So using your full live toolkit again, but the receiver manager this time. Compositing your own creative bits. Um, let's get into that in the next one. Nice one. Cheers, 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 cheers. Thank you. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this so far. I hope this is helping you become one with the internet. And please do give us some feedback. It always helps. Mm.